Tonight, fire crews are working to contain a fire burning near the Black Hawk Estates area in Bonneville County. This is a live look from the Idaho Falls Skycam of the fire, and you can see it is still burning into the hills. Now, this is video from earlier this evening as crews were mopping up the fire closest to the subdivision. And at one point, some of the homes were evacuated, but people have been allowed to return home at this time. Now, we have team coverage of the fire tonight. Chelsea Brentzel and Esme Kiriega near Black Hawk Estates. And Chris Nesman is watching the weather conditions tonight. We start our team coverage with Chelsea Brentzel. Well, Dennis, good news to report tonight. Those who were evacuated from their homes now back at home or allowed to be back at home. One thing that Mother Nature is doing is not really helping fire crews, though. At one point, this fire was about a half mile away from homes, but tonight that's not the case. It's actually in the Henry's Canyon area right now. And joining me to talk a little bit more about this is Bonneville County Sheriff Paul Wild. Um, Sheriff, let's talk about what your biggest worry is for tonight. Well, Probably just the wind and how it's shifting. Anything that would be, you know, flare up and and jump the road. Uh, fire crews are doing a great job and they've got it in the canyon. It's staying down there right now, but uh, I think they're concerned about the wind also and and just being able to control it where it's at. And just within the past hour and a half, we've seen these spark up pretty large over there in that canyon area. It uh, looks like it's. When the wind shifted, it grew and came up the canyon walls. Uh, those things kind of worry the guys because once that flare up hits the top, it could jump over and come, you know, into the dry grass over here. But it looks like they're holding it down and it's staying down in the canyon for now. And a lot of agencies are working on this. Can you talk about some of the agencies that are working? Well, the ones I've seen, Idaho Falls Fire and Bonneville County Fire District, those guys are all out and they're working. Uh, BLM is out and they have several crews and trucks here. Uh, Shelly Firth is here and they're working. I did see a Forest Service truck come through, so those guys are evaluating where this is going and what they're going to run into. Uh, so there's a lot of, lot of different uh, agencies here working hard and the fire guys are, you know, we haven't been able to get to talk to them much. They, they fed us information, let us know what we needed to do as far as uh, road control and uh, evacuation and those kind of things. But other than that, they are working hard and trying to hold this thing down. Thank you, Sheriff. And just wanted to let everyone know, no injuries, no structures burned in this. Obviously, wind being the number one factor as far as making people um, kind of worried about this. Lots of agencies working on this. But, you know, Local News 8's Esme Cariega has been here all day. We have no idea exactly how this started, but Esme, you talked to some people that lived here. They were pretty concerned earlier. That's right, Chelsea. I've been covering this story all day long and following this fire, and right now, as I can tell, I can smell the smoke in the air, and the wind is picking up, but I did have a chance to talk to a lot of people who said they've been watching the fire grow, and that came growing concerns for their homes and the safety of their homes. This is video I shot of the fire this afternoon. You can see plumes of smoke fill the air. One homeowner watched the fire grow all day long from his backyard. Colvin Jerkins, who's lived in his home for years, says it's not uncommon for fires to occur at this time of year. Well, when it first started, it was somewhat uh, low. It was not a very severe fire, but it quickly grew, and I could see the flames raging up on the hill. It was. Uh, Flames to the north and flames to the south, and smoke was intense. Now, standing right here is where the initial fire started, and this is where firefighters really wanted to make sure that the fire was put out because just a mile down the road is residential homes, so they wanted to make sure those homes were safe. Now, firefighters have been working steadily behind me to make sure that there's no hot spots or any embers that flare up to create or start those a fire up again. So, again, at this point, homes are safe. Live from the Black Hawk area, I'm Esme Cariega. Back to you, Dennis, in the studio. Esme, thank you so much for that live report. Now let's